Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Simpsons fan. Now I wanted to do something special because it's the 30th anniversary of the first episode of The Simpsons. Can you believe it? Way back in 1989, I was 11 years old and the first episode of The Simpsons debuted on the fledgling Fox network. What I thought I'd do is little recollections, commentary on the very first episode, Simpsons roasting on an open fire. This series just like defined my childhood. It was so funny, so irreverent. It's just an amazing part of my childhood. So this very first episode was a Christmas episode. And after The Simpsons debuted into the world on the Tracy Ullman show in 1987, it became a smash hit. I remember watching a few of those early Tracy Ullman shorts. And they were cool, but they were just so late at, at night. And it was amazing to then watch the very first episode of the real series. I remember my family and I were watching this. So it's such a trip to watch it again 30 years later. That's hilarious right there. The, the Santa Claus from Japan. Here we have Lisa Simpson's introduction uh, doing the, the Santa of the South Seas. Hilarious. Uh, I love that little bit of animation there where her flame whips across the screen and then she, she's there. So she's doing this great dance <laughs> and the, the crowd loves it. So next up is Bart Simpson. Now, if you notice on these early episodes, Principal Skinner was mispronouncing everything. Oh, holiday flavorites, he said. That was going to be a shtick that he was going to mispronounce everything. Um, and then so here we have the triumphant debut of Bartholomew J. Simpson. Let's have a listen. It's the classic Batman jingle that all the kids knew in the playground. Here to see it on a national television show was amazing. So you get a, a sense early on of all the characters right away. Bart is bratty. Lisa is an overachiever. Uh, Homer is uncouth. And Marge loves her whole family. Maggie the whole time sucking on the pacifier. Look at her. You see all of these great little details um, of all of the characters and Marge's narration. I wish they did that a little bit more often. Here she's narrating something and then we get a nice sight to gag. Snowball too. Now here's a joke right here that's getting cut off actually. I'm watching the version that is in widescreen. Widescreen, but of course this was never made in widescreen. So that was just cut off at the very top. And there's other things that are getting cut off here to be widescreen. So watching the original is always preferable. And then here is Angry Homer. A nice zoom out. That's really funny right there where... Um, let's back up a little bit. That's really funny where Maggie crashes into the, into the scene right there. Look at that. She's all <laughs> beat up on the floor. Twisted up. Pretty funny. Marge fighting back against Homer's boorishness. There was always that back and forth between the characters. And if you notice, like these original shows are just so quiet compared to, you know, Family Guy and such, which was like a smash cut every second with like blaring music and such. This had a just a simple fade transition from the school back to home. And it's just such a much more quieter show. Very enjoyable. The comedy still hits, of course. But I really want a pony. So again, the the aesthetic of each of the characters is revealed early on. A tattoo. <laughs> okay, now we're going to be watching this on the ad-supported version of YouTube. So we're going to see this stuff popping up right there. But anyway, it's ruining the joke. The next joke right here, Marge's sisters. So it cuts off at the most inappropriate time. And then, of course, we've got some amazing ads. Let's wait for that to pass by. We had commercials back in the original days as well. But now we've got the commercials that we cannot uh, skip. So anyway, that's going to autoplay to the next one. 
church, sister. No. <laughs> Marge is so happy to talk to her sister. Now, here's a little uh, funny thing here. She plays with the, fo the phone cable. Let's pause right there. Hey, kids, do you know what that even is? What she's holding? That, that ain't no iPhone. That's a classic landline. <laughs> Homer gagging. <laughs> Hilarious. She keeps playing with the phone cable. That's that's pretty cool. That's a thing that we all did back in the day when we had that. And then <laughs> he falls off the, the roof and all of his family. Um, cheers for him. Shades of the... <laughs> Shades of the Griswolds, and then here we have the Flanders. First triumphant view of the Flanders. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. We see the uh, Ned Flanders right away. Before, however, his uh, his over reliance on the Flanders parlance. So definitely, this. <laughs> This early episode, all of these early episodes back when The Simpsons used to be good. Well, it's good for every generation, but, you know, it's a little bit past my generation. Um, these early episodes really were just such a different sort of type of Simpsons. And it's really cool to kind of go back to the original shows. Uh, here's Bart in his fantasies. I can tell why he was the bad boy. It's the best present a mother could get. <laughs> It makes you look so dangerous. It's such a fantastical. One mother, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Twenty-one, sir. Get in a chair. Twenty-one, sir. And then, of course, the tattoo artist believes it right away. So everything comes into play right here. We've got the power plant. Uh, we've got Bart's brattiness. We've got a big family crisis. Uh, nuclear power crises. We've got. Donuts, but they're not the classic sprinkled ones. Mr. Burns. Management pay raises. That's uh, Mr. Burns' office that isn't found like it used to be anymore. So, yeah, it was just like a real trip, a real blast from the past to watch a few minutes of this original series. If you haven't watched the original episode of the simpsons you should watch it it's just so interesting to go back to that <laughs> to the original moth to the original shows and what has been a series that's been around for 30 years i can't believe that because i remember when the show was 10 years on the air and then 20 years on the air and this is 30 years on the air the simpsons to truth be told i haven't watched it in a little while and i kind of want to do it again or maybe i just want to uh relive the original series binge watch it all on my original dvds ooh in that 720p quality mm, magnifique um so check out an episode of the simpsons one of these days an early episode and see how it all was back in the beginning this has a lot of been a lot of great memories i'm gonna watch the episode for a little while i hope you do too this has been vm campos watching the simpsons 30 years later oh my god we're ruined christmas is canceled no presents for anyone don't worry